I came across some of these pictures while I was working on a presentation for Air Force Communications talking about communicating with millennials. So if I look at the website for Department of the Army, Department of the Air Force, and I look at it on YouTube, now what am I going to see with how many people watch those videos? Here is the half hour interview with the command, the Sergeant Major of the Army. Last week we had 500 views. Mm. You see very small audience participation for this. Don't we at all levels in every service have some great motivational speakers? Where are they? Where are our TED Talks for them talking about leadership, talking about things like that? Um, what about our policy development, policy on tattoos? Have you talked about that as an issue? What did the Army say about tattoos at first? No. And what are they saying now? It's cool. That's that millennial push. It is absolutely a generational thing that this is the norm. The norm is changing, and the norm is changing the social views of the organization. I'm not saying anything is right or wrong about any of that. It's just a be aware of this and understand how different policies can be perceived. And if you're able to talk to your commander, your director about, I don't think this is going to be popular and here's why. And whatever you can to back up with research is always good. Next slide. So I asked you about LinkedIn and Facebook. And I mentioned Marriott and um, Hilton as examples of how hotels are changing their appearance. I also looked at Air Force dorms. The Air Force dorms get it. So do the Air Force dining facilities. Right? What's in there? What's in that dining facility? Good food. OK. Selection? Yeah, but if I go in the uh, Elmendorf, Alaska, there's an Iterod display there and a bear. If I go into a dining facility in Japan, what's there? What's out front? A samurai soldier. I can guarantee you there's tons of pictures being taken there. It's about the experience. It's about being part of the experience. Now, what else I found on YouTube? Lots of individual videos that sh were showing 27,000 views, 30,000, 48,000. What are they? Hi, here's my room. I want to show you my room. Here's my room here at um, you know, Robbins. I want you to see, oh, look, here's my bed. Now, it's advertising. I'm, this is my experience. And so who's watching them? What will my life be like when I get there? We worry a lot about communities. Well, will the medical community want to see this as much as the operations community? Everything I see in these levels is it's about my life, my relationships, how I live, how far I have to go to work, not the specifics of the job. I'll find that out anyway. But it's improve the quality of my life. So as Marriott starts to do this, <clears throat> they were approached by LinkedIn. We would like to have Bill Marriott, and they made sure I understood it's Marriott and not Marriott. That was a error they made a few years ago in doing a commercial and made it rhyme. So now they're stuck with Marriott. But he prefers, and it's his name, Marriott. So I asked him if he would be an influencer. And their CEO, Arnie Sorensen, was also asked if he would blog on LinkedIn. Any of you write anything for LinkedIn? Are you on LinkedIn? Yeah, you'll, I'll, I've heard college students tell me nobody over, under 40 is on LinkedIn. Well, that's not true if you want a job or a connection or you want to know what's going on in different communities. But these are now huge. Uh, Bill Marriott is one of the biggest influencers on LinkedIn. So is Stan McChrystal. So there are lots of ways to be on social media for a professional purpose and not just a social purpose of here's what's going on this weekend. You know, we're going to have Oktoberfest here at Fort Belvoir. Hmm. But these are on topics that are of interest to people at all levels. 
and throughout their organization worldwide. Next slide. They would, so they were doing this pretty well. I mean, they're getting a lot of views, but then they decided to blow up the blog space by getting mid-level managers to participate. That's your brigade commander, your wing commander. Capture the flag, connecting with creative content. How do we elevate our mission? Putting people first, leadership topics. That's why I, talk, I mentioned all of the leaders we have who are such great speakers, where are they in all of this? I mean, there's some sergeants major I've had who I would listen to them over and over again just for the way they relate to people and how they explain the mission in such a way that makes you want to be part of it. We can do this kind of thing as well. Next slide. And now I'll show you something they've done um, earlier this year. And this is not just, I'm not promoting Marriott. I'm talking about this hotel chain, another one. A nationwide Zumba group does the same thing. Little stories, vignettes. Because what's missing from our websites, our social media, conversation, having people participate, having them actually send things in that are their stories and getting them put up. So it's not time intensive and it's not labor intensive. Uh, there's a team of two people at Marriott Corporate in Bethesda who do this. They call themselves Team Awesome. Um, and they answer all of the mail for these. Go to the next slide, please. So there's the rules for Heart of the House. Um, <clears throat> and there's a Heart of Hilton, too, I think is the other one. How long should my story be? Well, first of all, you can't submit any story unless it has a picture or a video. Um, that's the Pittsburgh skyline, and this was an international week. So they did henna tattoos for some of the staff. Not a grip and grin. <gasps> Something infinitely more interesting. And they said what they will get is somebody will nominate somebody else with a story, or they'll submit their own, and then they start calling. When is my story going to be up? You haven't answered me yet, because it's a big deal, a big pride deal. Now, I heard from corporate. And they liked my stuff. They ha yes, they have attorneys who look at these. And they have trained those attorneys so that they look at them quickly. So there's still a little bit of a time delay, maybe a week or so. But then the story comes up. This was in June that this started. It is now really beginning to gain traction, especially in the overseas markets. Go to the next one. Uh, this is from... A Marriott in Abu Dhabi. You can see the categories they have on the right. But for this guy who works in the cafe at the Marriott in Abu Dhabi, that's a big deal. I've seen some of their other stories, and they are. They're just bite-sized. They're entertaining. They're real people, and they're real life. So are we talking a little bit about his job? Yeah, a little bit. Um, they also had a video that they produced. They produced three or four of them. One of them was on a guy who in their Mexico City Marriott teaches English as a second language. And this guy is just so entertaining and engaging. You know, you want to watch him all day. And he's funny. And, it, and it's, again, a four-minute piece. So it does quite a bit in telling that story and gaining your attention.